Shalom, 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 Israel. First, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashima Mashiach Yahweh All praises due, peace and salutations to the royal house of David. Peace and blessings to all you out there listening in for another message today. Today, got an oldie but goodie. And oh, you're going to love this. Guess who's back, y'all? I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it and heard it. It's my buddy Rico. Y'all believe that? Hey, hold on. But this time, he did a video. I mean, he got me up there. He didn't show himself, but there's a start, right? Well, I'm going to incorporate Rico. This is his, his, his coming out party, all right? I'm going to incorporate Rico into the lesson today. And I, I hope you enjoy it, Rico. Hey, I hope you enjoy it, man, all right? This is all for you, my brother. I'm going to even play your video, man, and I'm going to line some scriptures up with it. So, body, prepare for a treat. And just keep this in mind. Y'all know that scripture that nothing new under the sun? Well, it's really not. But I'll line that up later. I want y'all to listen to Faglicious. Rico. Rico. The floor is yours. Check it out, family.
nigga said he was your Howard Shaw's daddy. Nigga said he was gonna he was gonna go to Colorado. In Colorado, he was about to own all the states in America. He said he was gonna own all the land. Nigga, you said you was gonna have a Lambo truck. Told him you was gonna be seven women to one man type shit. And I remember Kafar, he, Kafar dumbass actually woke up and cut your dumbass too. He realized he was off. I ain't even had to slap his goof ass. But nah, I'm gonna have to come do it to you cause your ass still preaching this dumbass, fake ass Israelite shit. Nigga, and you thought I was gone too? Nah, I'm back, bitch, I, I just did a bid. I'm back to give it to your goof ass. You're not the fucking King David. You're fucking all your followers. You're not Israelite. You ain't even fake Hebrew Israelite, nigga. You ain't even like Sephardi. You know, they didn't. At least they some fake Hebrew Israelite. You ain't even that. You just told me some bullshit online. That's all you're doing. I'm about to go to the next channel. Ooh, did y'all feel the passion from Rico? Hey, Rico, you said you did a bid? You did a bid? Oh, okay. Well, you must be uh from New York, huh? You, you from back east somewhere. Down here in the West, we call that a summer vacation, all right? They say you went on vacation, and say we did a bid. So you a New Yorker, huh? You a New Yorker, B? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, no no disrespect to my New York brothers out there, all right? I love y'all, all right? But somebody out there need to find this nigga, man. Hey, you know, if that's where you at, where you, where you at? You, you, you in New York, Jersey, huh? <laughs> You did a bid for what? You know what? Let me let me let me put shit on cruise control for a minute. You said you did a bid, but you said you the one that got my channel taken down, the last one. So you must have went to jail right after that, huh? I wonder why. I wonder why the Most High would keep such a, uh, 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 a beautiful law keeper like yourself. All right, uh, 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 and 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 let him go to jail. Well, what was it? Was it? Was it? What was it? Tax evasion on one of your rundown ass laundry mats? Nah, no. Nah. What was you doing? Was you? Was you? Was you streaming child porn to your laptop again? Told you about that, all right? Which one was it? And I'm just curious. I mean, you ain't gotta tell me, man. I'm just wondering, what what prison did you go to where your ass actually made it out? Hmm? I know it wasn't the tombs. I know it wasn't Rikers Island, all right? Your ass was probably sitting in the substation with them bringing your ass donuts. What was you doing, snitching on somebody? Hmm? What was you doing, Rico? Come on, man. Hey, tell me something. You're asking me to send you an address so you could come to Cali and do what? Get yourself killed? <laughs> I don't know what you heard, man, but they don't call it Killer Cali for nothing. Now, you want an address? I'll tell you what. I tell you what, make a video, all right, with your face and everything. I want, I want full transparency, all right. I mean, and if not, you know, the only thing that I can reduce this to is that you're scared of me. You're scared. You're a chicken, all right. Yeah, you a chicken, man. Why are you hiding? Behind the the, the 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 camera, man. Talking like a little bitch. Let me see. Let me let me give you some scripture, man. This is a. Uh... 
Hmm. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So you're trying to teach me, but you never show your face. Why is that? Well, you're a coward and a bitch. And furthermore, I don't know what uh, 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 videos you've been watching. I didn't get cut by no Sakari. I didn't get cut by no IUIC. I didn't get cut by anybody. If that's the case, they still be cutting me because I'm still up here. All right? I didn't get cut by no jughead, light-skinned, uh, 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 albino with nappy hair at. Well, no, fuck that. He no albino. Albinos are still black. I didn't get cut by no jughead, yellow, uh, 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 wannabe nigga looking like a white boy with nappy hair, gorilla Hebrew. And I damn sure ain't got cut by no bumpy lip, rotten pussy sucking ass herpy D. All right. I did the cut. All right. I ain't heard nothing from IUIC, so I don't know what you're talking about on that. Uh, you know, the only one that's been consistent here like that is you. They just went on there and left me alone. All right. Uh, but I see you don't get along with them either, huh? You said that they're not, you said they're not Pharisees. That you said, I mean, you said they're not Israelites. They're fake Israel. And I'm not even that. Well, I mean, hey man, prove it. Prove it, cabron. Make a video, man. I'll watch it. I I'll hear you out. I want to see, I want to see you come from behind the curtains and stop being a little bitch. Put your, put your, put your man pants on and then I will give you an address. All right. That's all you got to do. Now, family, I want y'all to see that because this idiot still don't believe in your house shot. As well he should. So I want to show y'all something through the scriptures to show you that this is nothing new. This is textbook Pharisee. Textbook. All right. Let's go to Mark chapter 12, verse 10. And Yahalashai says, And have ye not read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. Well, you rejected the stone, Rico. That's why he blinding your ass. Right now, as we speak, you're fucking blinded because you rejected him. All right. Verse 11. This was the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. See, it's the Father. It's the Father that blinded you. So that you couldn't receive the love and forgiveness of Yahweh Shai. Because he wants you to get destroyed. And you are fast tracking yourself to destruction. Just the way he planned. Let me read that again. All right. Mark chapter 12 verse 11. This was the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Was marvelous? Well, let's go back to verse 10. And have you not read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected is the corner. All right, is the is the is is become the head of the corner. It's a lot. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. It's marvelous to see your stupid ass come back again and again, trying to take me down. And it don't work. You talking about Kafar? No, Kafar didn't wake up, man. Kafar went in the darkness. He knew it, too. He knew it. I mean, sad to say, he just wasn't elect. Truth be told, I love that brother, man. Really did. And I hate to see that. But it's all up to the Most High who's who. And he showed his ass at the end. And he is now dead. And I knew you was going to bring up your uh your ex boyfriend uh uh Raptor News have you got over his grief I have you got over mourning him yet I, I know 
Y'all used to wear and share each other house shoes in that uh, studio apartment that y'all had, had. I know he used to get up and and, and, and make you uh, 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 mimosas and, and make you uh, 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 croissants, all right, with some turkey bacon, all right? But the nigga dead, man. The nigga's dead, all right? No more snuggling up on cold nights. No more tasting his booty hole before he go to work. None of that, Rico, because I know how bad you miss it. All right? And look, I can't say I'm grieving with you, but, you know, uh, it's just what happens when you keep fucking with me. Now, I want to finish what Yahweh Shai said, the one that you don't believe in. Let's uh, stay in Mark chapter 12, verse 13. And they sent unto him certain of the Pharisees of the Herodians to catch him in his words. Ain't that what you do, Rico? You do the same shit, but you swear up and down, it never happened. Verse 14. And when they were come, they say unto him, Master, we know that thou art true and carest for no man. Thou regardest not the person of man, but teachest the way of power and truth. Now, you know why he said that? Because Yahweh Shai, all right, was born under the law, all right, but he was teaching the law of liberty in his actions, okay? He didn't tell the Jews not to keep the law of Moses. He just said, after me, this is it. And then he taught the law of liberty. He didn't teach the law of Moses when he was here, okay? Because he knew it was coming to an end. And dumbass niggas like you, Rico, you weren't smart enough to pick up on that, all right? I bet you was probably one of them head Pharisees back then. Well, nah, nah. That's probably reserved for somebody like Nate. Nate up there, Nate papered up. I think Net, Nate is on Forbes, I think. I think he worth 150 million or some shit like that. I mean, he's gonna lose it, but hey, I think he would see you. You're a, you're a, you're a, uh, you're a jackal, man. You're, you're a cockroach. All right, you're a cockroach. That's all you are. You're a, a, a man, bitch. You know, a faggot. Uh, let's keep going. And when they were come, they say unto him, Master. We know that thou art true and carest for no man, but you regard us not the person of men, all right? But teach the way of power and truth. So if he teaches the way of power and truth, you don't, all right? Probably why you got five people on your damn little bullshit ass channel. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? They tried to ask him a question to trip him up. Verse 15, shall we give or shall we not give? But he, but Yahweh Shai, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, why tempt me? Bring me a penny that I may see it. And they brought it and said unto him, to them, whose is the image and, super, and superscription? And they said unto him, it's Caesar's. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, render to Caesar the things that, that are Caesar's and to the power, the things that are powers, and they marveled at him. You see, it ain't no trying to catch Yahweh Shai. It ain't no trying to catch me. Do you know in six years, ain't nobody ever caught me in my words? You know that? You know everything that's been told to me, I got a solid answer for. Them. That's all. You know that? Uh, but you, on the other hand, you make yourself look like an ass every time you show up here. Now, I'm going to show you something here. You say you don't believe in your homicide, right? Well, answer me this, Rigo. Yahweh Shai said this many, 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 many moons ago. He said in Luke 6 and 22, Blessed are ye 
when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake verse 23 rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets all right so you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, but you're doing everything he said. And he's been gone for out of this world for over 2,000 years. And he said it was going to be niggas like you doing the same shit that they did to him. And here you are doing that to me. So tell me, how was it that he didn't exist and you fallen right into the scriptures? Doing exactly what he said. You hate me. You hate me because of him. You hate me because I lift up his name. You hate me because I stand for what he died for. You hate me because I speak the truth. You hate me because you can't come against it. All you can do is make your little bullshit ass videos with your whack ass sound effects and think that you're going somewhere. Well, you know, when I heard you, I said, damn, what a most high just didn't kill him. Well, I got an answer for that. Let's go to, uh, Isaiah 54. 17 It says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that riseth up against thee in Judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and Their righteousness is of me saith the power so that's why I didn't kill you. He's preserving you. I know you don't believe that, huh? He already gave you a cut and sent your ass to jail for God knows what. Tell me something. If you're a law keeper and you keep the laws, you keep the law, huh? Why all you law keepers end up in jail? Was you in there with Naquan? What was y'all what, 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 what was y'all doing in there, man? That's all I see is Pharisees going to jail, man. That's all I see. Because you niggas are wicked. So, if you don't mind, can you just leave it in the comment boards, man, why you went to jail? I really like to know, if you don't mind. All right? Since we go way back. You at least owe me that, man. I want to know why you was in jail, all right? And how many times they touched your booty. But now I don't want to need I don't need to know all that. That's that's a regular for you anyway. And they probably didn't get to you. You probably PC'd up the minute you got in there. Anyway, uh you know what? He's preserving you. Alright? And he's preserving you so that you could get your just desserts when the time comes. Alright? So just know that we here. We're not the house of David. We are the royal house of David. All right. The royal house. And we're going to continue to do what we do. You will never take me down permanently. You will never stop this work. Let me give you a scripture. All right. Let's go to. Uh. Matthew chapter 16 Verse 17 And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him Blessed art thou Simon Barjona For flesh and blood have not revealed It unto you But my father Which is in heaven Verse 18 And I say also unto thee That you are Peter And upon this rock I will build my church 
and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So, uh, there's nothing you can do. Fag boy. There's nothing you can do. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He talking about this royal house. There's nothing you can do against this truth before the truth. You know what? Let me get that for y'all. This is a... Uh, Second Corinthians 13. Verse 7. The apostle writes, Now I pray to power that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. Verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth before the truth so there's nothing that you could do against this truth that's why that's why when you reported me to the crackers which you already admitted uh the most high made sure that he put your faggot ass in jail well he actually rewarded you because i know you liked it in there you like being around all them funky ass niggas in there all right so we already know that you're a faggot by nature. So do this for me, Rigo. Uh, like I say, you make that video, you get an address. Yeah, you get an address. I even tell you how to get there, right? So, uh, family, I wanted to show y'all that when you're doing the real work of the Most High, you're gonna always get busters like Rico that just won't die and that just won't go away. You're going to always get faggots like him, all right? So in his spare time, when some big gorilla ain't gripping his head and releasing uh, buckets of semen down his throat, he over here fucking with me, all right? So Rico, hey, suck it easy and welcome back, faggot. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Uh, 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 oh, one more thing. You said none of my prophecies came true, right? Well, tell me this. Are the banks failing? Did I not say that this economy was going to crash? Did I not say that there was going to be a global bankruptcy? You don't read, Enrico. Well, that's one prophecy that came true, right? And I ain't going to say it was a prophecy. It was a prediction. The prophecy comes from the prophets in the Bible. I ain't saying nothing that wasn't already written aforetime, okay? But just so you know, just because I ain't made it to Colorado don't mean it ain't coming. And trust me when I tell you, it's coming. All right, family. Enough dealing with uh, Pee Wee Herman here. Uh... Shoot me that video, Rico, and I'll be happy to shoot you an address. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem and Mashiach Yahweh Shai. All praises due. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. KD out. Shalom.